Hi there, I'm Delarizo Koji and this is Not Just Okay News. Despite having a very busy calendar throughout this year, DMW star David O is not resting on his oars or taking any breaks. He has recently announced his forthcoming tour of the USA, which is titled The Locked Up Tour. Now, this tour will see David O visit major cities in the US like Atlanta, LA, Chicago, New York, etc. Now, the tour is kicking off this August and will end on the 20th of September. Still on Davido, the DMW star has promised his fans a great end to the year 2018 as he plans to drop a brand new single with every member of the DMW crew from now till the end of the year. Already we hear that every song has been recorded, but while we'll we wait on that to happen, Davido has already done a brand new song with the King of the South, South Duncan Mighty, as both parties were seen vibing to something in the studio and fans are waiting so eagerly to know what the outcome of that session was. Now, despite being in the news for the wrong reasons in the past few weeks, Maven Queen Tiwa Savage has put every bad and negative vibe far from her as she has now announced a brand new single titled Lover Lover that features, wait for it, Duncan Mighty. Yes. Now, according to music pundits in the industry, they are of the opinion that this single with Duncan Mighty and Tiwa Savage will be much bigger than Duncan Mighty's previous features, of course, like Fake Love that Whiskey featured him on, as well as Gimme Love that DJ Exclusive featured the Portaco based artist on. Duncan Mighty on the other hand did say the song gave him sleepless nights and he's excited about the fact that Lover Lover with Tua Savage is already out. Do check it out on notjustokay.com. Another Maving star, Ricardo Banks, is now shoving aside his alleged beef with Kiss Daniel by announcing his EP that will drop before the end of this year. Now, Ricardo Banks, of course, did a brand new single titled Bio Bio, in which he featured Duncan Mighty and then announced his EP dropping in October and had some words for his fans and critics alike. In a post he shared on Instagram, Ricardo Banks said, My EP drops this October and it's a piece you will brag about. I'm effing talented and I will prove it again. Thank you for believing in me. Ricardo Banks, whose debut album proved to be a major disappointment, has made up with dope singles and features, but now hopes that his EP will finally silence his critics for good. Guys, one half of the defunct pop duo P Square, Paul Okoye, aka Road Boy, has responded swiftly to allegations leveled against him by his twin brother, Peter Mr. P. Okoye. Now, you would recall that there was an interview that Peter granted outside Nigeria where he claimed that the major reason for the duo breaking up was because Road Boy was always disrespecting Mr. P's family. Now, Road Boy has come out to defend himself and said he has no idea what his brother is talking about and he's confused about where allegations like that have stemmed from. Y'all, this is never ending. And before we go today, Dibanj has come out to share with us how the past few weeks has been after losing his son on the 24th of June, 2018. The incident we threw the entire entertainment industry into mourning had Dibanj quitting social media for a while. Thankfully, he's back now, and he said he cannot even thank God enough for helping him sustain the past few weeks, which, in his exact words, were trying and difficult. The band in a recent post said, the past few weeks have been incredibly trying and difficult, but God's love has kept me and my family going. I can't thank my team enough and the incredible love from you all. God keep us all. Hashtag stronger together. We're strong for you, Banj. I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching today's edition of the show. I'm Bella Rizokoji. Do not forget to please do the basics, like the video, share, leave a comment down below, and do not forget to please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.